Hey everybody, this is Mary. Thanks for stopping by my kitchen one more time. I really appreciate it. How many people like chicken noodle soup? There are so many different ways to fix it, different uh, variations and whatnot. Today, I'm going to show you one of the uh, variations that I like to do. Okay, first of all, I'm going to do it in the uh, crock pot. So I'm going to turn my crock pot on high to let it get preheated. Okay, I am using boneless, skinless uh, chicken thighs. Yes, I said thighs. A lot of people use breast. If you want to use breast as a substitution, by all means do. I do a lot of times, but I happen to have thighs today. They were on sale, so that's what we're doing. So, this package is a three pound package. I'm just going to dice them into cubes. The size that you use is entirely up to you. Just going to cut them in about probably inch size pieces or so. And you can totally change any amount in this recipe. It doesn't matter. You're making it in your kitchen for your family. So whatever size you make is totally up to you. But I'm just going to uh, continue until I get all my chicken uh, cubed up and in a crock pot. Okay, folks, I have all my chicken cut up. I'm making a really big pot of soup. That way we can have leftovers. But soup is really, really good as leftovers. And you're gonna see one of the twists that I use. The noodles are not gonna get soggy. But let me go wash my hands and then we'll get the carrots and celery ready. Okay, I have a bag of baby carrots. This is a two pound bag. Okay, folks, if you want to use the uh, regular carrots and peel them and cut them to size, by all means, go for it. Uh, I'm in a time crunch as usual, so I opted for baby carrots. The only thing that I have to do on the majority of these things is just cut them in half. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all these cut up right quick. Okay. When you are uh, working with baby carrots, always check the ends of them because the person or machine or whatever that's supposed to uh, take all the uh, ends off of them, they actually missed a few. Which, you know, five is not bad for two pounds carrots. But just say it. Just always watch what you do. Now let's get the celery prepped. Okay, I've got celery. I've got one, two, three, four. I've got about five stalks and a couple of pieces of the little heart of the celery. The amount of celery that you use is totally up to you. Some people like celery in their soup, some people don't. We happen to like it. I would normally have put more to try to equal the amount of carrots, but folks, in all honesty, this is what I had left in the refrigerator. As I've said multiple times, a recipe is a guideline. Use it to get ideas. Make it yours from there. So I've got my celery, and I'll just dump it in there. Okay. And now, for the next step, now, folks, this is where also you can use what you've got. You can use your own variation, okay? I happen to have somewhere between a chicken stock and a chicken bone broth. I cooked it for about a day and a half in my crock pot. I cooked chicken bones, onions, celery, carrots, water, a little bit of salt and pepper. Uh, some people use apple cider vinegar to help draw all the goodness out of the bones. Some people put eggshells, but 
However how you make your own stock or broth is up to you. There's tons of recipes for it. Okay, but I made this a few days ago. And I'm gonna put this in my chicken soup. Okay. I'll get the rest of that out here in just a second. But folks, that's going to soak down in there, and that is going to make so much beautiful, beautiful broth in that. And it's not going to run over. It's not going to overflow. Okay, I have got, see, this is a half, uh, a half gallon, which is two quarts. And I had about one and a half, so about three and a half quarts of uh, liquid. Okay, if you don't want to use this then you can use water let me just give this a little bit of help you can use canned chicken broth but if you use water i would suggest adding some uh, chicken bouillon or chicken soup base uh, to it that way you get a richer flavor and if you do that i'd also add probably three or four tablespoons of real butter just to give a little more depth to it. But this is just a fast, easy, my spin on uh, the chicken soup. Okay. So I've got probably two and a half quarts of the liquid in it right now. I'm gonna stop right now and just let that cook down and then I'll check it in about an hour or so and if it needs more of the uh, chicken broth chicken stock I'll add it to it because I want the liquid all the way up to the top on this now if you want to add salt and pepper that's totally up to you everyone has different likes and dislikes when it comes to seasonings but the, there's enough seasoning in this stock for us. May add a little fresh cracked black pepper in the end when I put it in the bowl because that just makes it pop, in my opinion. But let's just put the lid on this and let it go. Okay, folks. I told you I wanted this totally full and look how full it is right here okay it is done now I know there's no room to put noodles in here but I'm going to take care of that okay everything is nice and stirred up so I have some water coming up to a boil and I always like to put my spin on something Okay, it's not going to be just noodle soup with just your normal egg noodles. I like to do things my way. And guys, it's going to be bow tie pasta. Yeah. So I've got my water coming up to a boil. We'll get this cooking and then we'll get this soup all put together. All right. Let's pour our bow ties in there. Give them a stir. And folks, now we wait. We'll have soup in about 10 minutes. All right, I'm getting ready to serve this chicken noodle soup. I cooked my bow tie pasta and I drained it. So, and I rinsed it, folks. That way it's not gonna stick together. Okay, I'm gonna store this separately. A lot of people cook their pasta actually inside their soup. And it gets thick and gummy and personally I don't like it that way if you like it that way then by all means add the pasta to your soup it all depends on what you like so I've got my bow ties in here my carrots my chicken and my celery and what do you think
That looks absolutely fantastic for a cold day. It's nice, it's nutrition, and folks, it also has a nickname. Has a nickname of Jewish penicillin. It really does. Google it. Google chicken soup. It's good for you. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that little tidbit of information. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.